and served with the RAF in the Second World War, and like many men in the years after, settled down to start a family with his wife, but he was living a lie, because he knew the secret he could tell no one, that he was in fact gay. In post-war Britain, homosexuality was a criminal offence. Men found guilty could be fined or even jailed for life. It wasn't until 1967 that it was decriminalised in England and Wales, and it's still against the law in 76 countries. In fact, there are 10 where it can lead to the death penalty. But now, age 92, George Montague is proudly open about his sexuality and has told his story in a BBC documentary, as John Hunt explains for tonight's special report. George Montague lived a double life for much of his life because he was gay and he knew most of society wouldn't accept that. Being gay in those days was such a terrible stigma and my mother was very wise and she sensed that I was going to tell her. She may have suspected, you see. She said to me, darling, if one of my sons was like that, I'd rather he didn't tell me. I had been active homosexual for 10 years and then I decided this is not on. It's such a stigma, everybody's pressurizing, especially one person, my mother. Oh, come on, darling, it's about time you got married and give me some grandchildren. <sighs> so I did. In 1961, George married Vera. They had three children together. She knew he was gay. George was living a lie. The turning point in George Montague's life was the death of his mother in 1982. Only then, in his late 50s, did he feel he was finally able to come out. The day after my mother died, I phoned all my relatives and, and told them. The day after my mother died. George Montague is now an ambassador for the annual Brighton Gay Pride Festival, calling himself the oldest gay in the village. Pride's organisers believe it's important people remember the struggles gay people went through in Britain and still do around the world. There's still a long way to go. Um, there's, there's, there's lots of atrocities that still happen around, around the world in different countries. Um, and very much it's relevant you know, with, 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 with uh, George's journey um, and how, how things have changed in the last even 10 years for, for equality and diversity. George was today described to me as a gay icon in Brighton and Hove. He describes himself as the luckiest, happiest old gay man alive. John Hunt, BBC South East Today in Brighton. Well, you can hear more from George Montague and other inspirational pensioners whose lives changed radically in the decades following World War II in Britain's Greatest Generation on BBC Two at nine o'clock tonight. Oh my God.